I'm Ariane Arambiro with your FastCast digital headlines for this Tuesday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we're following a growing safety concern flared up again over the weekend. And the Chester Creek Greenbelt is where a fire broke out and burned multiple tents. Alex Boyd, the assistant chief at the Anchorage Fire Department, says this was just one of many homeless campfires that AFD has responded to. AFD has seen about 360 fires this year that would be classified as homeless encampments or associated with 30 of those being classified as wildland fires. There have been more visible fires this year as there are more visible and larger encampments, something less common in previous years. Boyd refers to these fires as a wicked problem and says the resources at AFD are being strained to keep up with them. The change in, in challenges that we face, uh, the staffing requirements, the increased load on other uh, agencies, it seems like these camps are growing larger and we're having uh, larger encampments with more material in them, more challenges that we're facing. So we've had some pretty large encampment fires. It's a daunting time for Ukrainian refugees. Those who fled the war are looking at some big deadlines, including hundreds of people who have settled here in Alaska. But another looming deadline is for people who are already in this country. They're wondering how long they can stay. The state's refugee coordinator says uni uniting for Ukraine allowed them safe passage here, but it didn't promise they could stay forever. And for some Ukrainians in Alaska, that two years is up in March. And Alaska's U.S. Senators are teaming up in an effort to halt the Kroger-Albertson's merger, affecting hundreds of stores across the country, including more than a dozen in Alaska. While Kroger's CEO claims the move will result in better service, the announcement first publicized last October is receiving pushback from the delegation, with Senators Lisa Murkowski and Dan Sullivan authoring a letter to the Federal Trade Commission about the deal. Here's Frank Munchie with the UFCW Local 1496. They come in and they recognize contracts. Cool, at all the stores, some of the stores, 90% of Safeways in Alaska are wall-to-wall -wall union members. Um, they're gonna recognize all of them uh, when you know we come up in the future to bargaining. Are they gonna have a different you know, set of cards in their hands then? Kroger bought Fred Meyer in 1998, and while the deal is expected to close sometime next year, the company maintains Frontline Associates will remain employed and existing collective bargaining agreements will continue. It also says no stores in Alaska will be closing. Those are your FastCast digital headlines for this Tuesday. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.